In this video, we show our autonomous quadrotor system that is able to quickly navigate through obstacle-rich environments. The robot uses stereo cameras, an IMU and a laser altimeter for state estimation, a 2D LiDAR mounted on a Nordic gimbal for mapping, and an onboard Intel Nuke i7 computer for all the computation. Our tightly coupled visual inertial odometry allows the robot to reliably fly at high speeds. Here we show an autonomous flight following a 300 meter straight line trajectory and reaching speeds over 15 meters per second. Even after the high speed flight, the drift of the position estimate at the end was less than 1%. In this clip, we show how our system allows the robot to navigate quickly through a forest-like environment. Go, 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 go. Here we show an experiment where the robot starts outdoors and the goal is inside a building. The maximum speed achieved during this run was around 9 meters per second. Note that the exposure changes significantly when the robot enters the building. We use our own auto exposure algorithm which synchronously changes the exposure of the stereo cameras in order to handle this large change in exposure. In this experiment, the robot was started in a sparse forest and had to navigate through the forest to a goal inside the building. The graphic on the right shows the robot's estimated state overlaid on top of a satellite map. The goal location is indicated by the red circle inside the building. The colored dots around the robot seen in the graphic show the map that is created by the robot as it moves through the environment. Note that in all of the runs, the robot has no prior information about the environment. Here we see the robot exploring around the building. Since the goal location is inside the building, the robot has to circle around to find the opening to get in.